We invested in 40 companies in the past seven years. Today for this new fund, uh, we've already identified 26 investment opportunities, immediate ones. We're not gonna invest in 26 companies next year, but at least we can uh, zero down on uh, four or five. The plan is to invest between five to $20 million uh, across uh, four years. So the investment period of the new fund is four years. We plan to have 15 to 20 companies for the whole $250 million fund. And uh, this will be across uh, four years. Innovation is definitely important when we look at uh, a company to invest in, but what's uh, really more relevant is the people behind the uh, venture. How experience and how, how much relevant experience they have to the uh, subject, to the startup itself. Now typically, we do not invest in just business plans on a piece of paper. We would like to see some traction. So this is a product and a, you know, a kind of a proven business model that is um, scaling. We're not looking for uh, cash flow positive companies. They can generate some revenue, some sales, so that we can just test the product, call a couple of customers, do our due diligence, our market due diligence, see if the customers really like and appreciate what they're buying. After that, we call the Series B, and this is where we'd like to invest. It's kind of de-risked because the product is there and the market traction is there, but at the same time, the growth potential and the upside is tremendous. You know, we've been doing this for a long period of time. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes uh, back in 2010, 11, but uh, in 2012, I think we made some very good investments and we succeeded. We've done, for example, an investment in a company called Shahiya. We exited two years later and multiplied our money by six in two years. We've done investments like uh, Angami, which is the largest music streaming business across the Arab world with 50 million uh, users today. So uh, this company has grew. When we invested in it, valuation was just a few million dollars. And today we're more than $100 million worth of valuation for that company as well. So we're very happy we had some great successes and very little write-offs, write very little failures. Good question. Um, no, that, not really actually. We haven't regretted any investment. We have a very strict uh, investment uh, policy. We at some point got offered a 2% exposure for a $3 million ticket in one company that made it really big without giving any names. We're not in the business of owning 2% in a large company. We don't do that. We're in the business of owning 10 to 40%, which is a, a large minority, so that we can have a board seat, some reserved matters, uh, some kind of a, an active involvement, but we don't get involved in the day-to-day -day of those startups. We don't do that. We had them on a strategic level on the growth plan. We open up markets. We had them on the technology. We help them um, get the right talents to make it happen, but we do not get involved in the day-to-day. -day. There are many VCs out there, regional and international, looking at the region. We co-invest with most of them. Uh, actually, they co-invest with us in our portfolio companies. We tend to lead, we tend to lead our investment uh, opportunities. Um, we. Um, I cannot say we're better or worse. Future will tell, it's only about returns. It's about the bottom line at the end of the day. But uh, we have a great relationship with many of them and it's great because they're helping us in building this industry. We're not on our own. And by the way, when uh, many VCs go to the same investor, investor realizes how interesting the opportunity is and they, he ends up choosing or selecting the right VC to invest in. Uh, so this puts us in a better position usually.